fifth item on the agenda is the City of Vadosta case, uh, CU 2014-01. Staff, if you will please present this case. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a conditional use request by Carson McLean Incorporated uh, for a conditional use permit um, for a small business office in RP zoning. Property consists of 0.19 acres located at 2212 North Patterson Street. It is directly across the street from the Carson McLean Funeral Home, which has existed there for several decades. Uh, they own two uh, small houses, or used to be houses, directly across the street that have been used for offices. Um, they have been renting these out. Um, the subject property is one of these houses that they are wanting to put one of their own offices in, uh, purely a business administrative type office. Um, related to pet cremation services. Uh, because funeral homes are not allowed in RP zoning, and the existing funeral home across the street is a non-conforming use in its RP and DR10 zoning, um, it triggers something. Um, in this case, it falls under the definition of the business office. Um, they will not be holding funeral services here. They will not be doing cremation here. All of those will be conducted off-site. This is simply a business office with a couple staff members um, in a very small building under an office environment. Uh, business office and the city's use table is a fairly broad category. It includes the very small kinds of offices like what we're talking about on up to a very large office that might even be associated with an industry. It is useful when you have a use that is otherwise not allowed in the zoning district but they're wanting to do just an office aspect of that use. And it's only because the property is zoned RP are we even going through the process. If this were OP or a commercial category, it would, there would be no public hearing required. Um, so with this, we look at the map and see the aerial. Um, these are former residences along the west side of the street. They've all been converted to office use. A couple of new buildings have been built. The particular property has a shared parking lot with its neighbors and is very much a little office park environment and that is precisely the same type of use that's being proposed, a local office. It fits in very well here. Character area is transitional neighborhood, which is typical. We see RP and OP type zonings. Um, so with all of this, we have found it consistent with our standards for conditional use, and we are recommending approval. All right, are there any questions uh, for the staff on commissioners? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Is there being none, I close the public participation portion of the request. The discussion is open amongst the commissioners. Hey, Mr. Chairman, I forgot in my haste trying to get through this. There are two recommended conditions to okay. go with the conditional use, which is customary. And those are there for you on the packet. If you like, I could read those into the record, or That's fine. we've got them right now. Okay. First condition: conditional use approval shall be granted for a penal services business office that is administrative in nature and affiliated with the existing funeral home across the street. <coughs> there shall be no cremation facilities, nor the conduct of any funeral service or large gatherings of people on the subject property. And number two: conditional use approval shall expire after two years if the business office is not lawfully operating by that date. All right. Any discussion amongst the commissioners? The being none, I will entertain a motion from the commissioner. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Well, um, I make the motion that we recommend approval of the conditional use permit <coughs> under RP zoning with the two conditions that uh, Mr. Martin just read. All right, we have a motion. Second. We have a motion and a second on this um, issue. Is there any um, discussion before the vote? All right, there being none, I will, um, all in favor please indicate, do so by um, raising your right hand. The motion passes unanimously. 